Welcome to Dreamcrest Solutions and today I'm going to show you how you can install the Chrome extension required for some services in order to access them. So first thing and the most important thing you need to remember is to always make a new Chrome profile. So first how to do that I'll show you just open your Chrome browser. On the top right you will see this icon of a man silhouette. So you click on this and you click on add and you select continue without an account and then you can name it I'm naming it dream tools demo so always remember to create a shortcut so you can access it whenever you want and click on done now we will log in into our panel we will log in into our panel so panel link is will be given to you I know it so I'm typing it myself So after uh, opening the panel, you will need to log into your user. So click on login. Put your ID, put your password, and click on login. Okay. So now I'm going to show you for Grammarly, and this extension you will need only once. So you will install it once. No need to install for each and every service. It's common for all. So. For instance, we click on Grammarly. So it's telling us this prompt is telling us to download extension one and extension two. So I've already downloaded them. So I'll show you once again how it will work. So click on download extension one, download extension two. Now you may notice it's saying it's not commonly downloaded and may be dangerous. Since this is a private access, so it won't be commonly downloaded and it's a false positive. So it's not any kind of a virus, it's just our private plugin which is given to the people who have taken access from us. So it's like an access token. So you uh, click on this right arrow and click on keep. Again you click on keep. And after that you will open your downloads folder where, where you have downloaded. Now we will need to extract them into the folder. Extract to two. Each separate folder should be there. So like that I have extracted both. Now we will begin with the integration. So on the top right, these three dots are there. You click on it, go to settings and navigate to the bottom left and click on extensions. In order to do this, we need to toggle the developer mode to on. And then we will click on this first option which says load and packed. And after that, we will click on select folder one single click you need to do and click on select folder similarly load unpacked for second folder this process is common for windows and mac both it will work in both and this is only a one time process so after that you click on update and when we go back to our panel and you will need to click on refresh So after clicking refresh, as you can see, the prompt has gone. So first, uh, this is Grammarly specific. First, we will click on access. This will activate Grammarly premium inside this Chrome profile, which we have created dream tools. So as you can see, it's been uh, the premium has been activated. Now we want what we want to do is create a new document. So we'll uh, go to the main tab. And if you scroll below, it, it says new doc. So new document, click on new document. And you will be redirected to the editor page of the Grammarly where you can uh, use it however you like. So the main thing to uh, remember is first we need to activate, then we will need to create a new document. Similarly, if you want to use the Grammarly extension, you can also do that. Just uh, Google Grammarly chrome extension and click on the first link and click on add to chrome so after doing that it has been added to the chrome uh, then you can pin it to just check it's saying premium and from here also you can create a new document 
and whichever uh, sites uh, supports Grammarly, it will work with them normally. So do remember to create a new profile to avoid any kind of uh, cookie clashes and uh, uh, any issues. So this is the main thing. And thanks for watching. And our executives are available anytime if you need any help.